This is lesson two in chapter seven. We're going to be solving linear systems today by graphing. Okay, so this is, um, this. I'm going to assume in this lesson that you do know how to graph a straight line given an equation. We did that in chapter six, the previous chapter. Um, so if you need to go back and review uh, some things about graphing, go ahead and do that now before this lesson. Um, okay, so let's get started. So in this unit, we are going to be solving systems of equations. We're always going to have two equations that we're going to solve. So when we graph those, if we graphed those two equations, we would have two lines. Um, all of our graphs will be linear in this chapter. So here I just have a quick example for a visual here. Um, I've got one equation, 2x minus y equals negative 3, that's shown there in the, the red graph. And then I have another one at 2x plus y equals 7, and that's shown there in the blue graph. And where these graphs intersect each other, which will only be at one point because they're straight lines, if they do intersect at all, um, that's where our solution to the system will be. And that point, the coordinates of the point will be the x and the y value that satisfy those equations. So the one here would be the x value of our solution because that's the number that's along the x-axis and then the y would be the y value of the solution. So the solution here, you could write it like this. x equals one, y equals five. So this should satisfy both equations at the same time. And we can verify that this is true. I'm gonna show you that. We practiced this last lesson as well, but it's good to know how to verify your solutions. Just in case you make a mistake when you're graphing, or when you're doing another method for solving. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the x and the y that we got as our solution, and we're gonna plug them into the equations and make sure that those equations make sense or they're correct. So let's see how that looks. So I'm gonna take that x out, I'm gonna put a one, because we think the solution is x equals one, and I'm gonna take the y out and I'm gonna put a five. Okay, so, this would be two minus five equals negative three, and two minus five is negative three. So this equation makes sense. We've verified that it's true when x equals one and y equals five. Let's go ahead and verify the second equation. Two x plus y equals seven. So again, we're gonna substitute one for x and five for y, and just ensure that this equation is correct. So we would have two plus five equals seven, that is correct, so that makes sense. So we verified our solution there. So you can do that for every single question. You're not gonna be asked to directly do that for every question, but on a quiz or a test, if you have extra time, you should always be verifying your answers. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do two more examples. Again, I'm assuming here you know how to graph a straight line. Okay, so we have two equations here, equation A, I'll call them, and equation B. I'm gonna do equation A in pink. So this is written in slope intercept form. Y equals negative one third, I'm just rewriting it here. So the slope is negative one third and the, inter the Y intercept is three. So we always start at the Y intercept when we're gra graphing equations of this type. And we're gonna go, for the slope, we're gonna count it out. So we're gonna go one down and three to the left. Oops, sorry, the other way. One down and three to the right. And we can go backwards as well. And we draw a nice straight line. Now I can't use a ruler on my screen, but you should be using a ruler to draw your straight line graphs. Okay, let's do the blue line. Y equals two X minus four. So our slope is two or two over one. And our Y intercept is negative four. So we're gonna start at negative four, we're gonna count two up, one over, two up, one over, two up, one over, two up, one over, and we're gonna draw a straight line through there. Okay, and we can see our solution is right here where the two lines intersect. So the solution would be at x equals three, y equals two, because those are the coordinates of that point. Um, so we can write that in down below. The solution would be x equals three, y equals two. That's where the two lines intersect each other. That's where the two equations are gonna be equal to one another. Okay, let's do the next one. So the top equation there is written in point slope form. So I'll call this equation A, I'll do it in pink. 
So in this format, we are given the slope, negative one over two, and we are given a point on the line. The point is negative five, uh, one. Okay, uh, remember you do have to change the signs of those coordinates, so that's why I did negative five, because it says x plus five. Okay, so negative five, one is right here, that's our point. And our slope would be negative one over two. So I'm gonna go down one, two over, down one, two over, and follow that all the way through. You do have to use the entire graph because your solution could be anywhere on that graph. So you don't wanna just graph part of the line. Oops. There we go. And we've graphed the line there. If you need to go back and review any of these equation types and how to graph them, go back to the chapter six videos. There's a video for each of the types. This one is in intercept form or general form. So in this format, we can tell the intercepts really easily. Oh, sorry, I just realized I wanted to do this in blue. There we go, 5x minus 3y equals negative 15. So for intercept format, we cover up one of the variables because on the intercept, that variable is gonna be zero. So for the x-intercept, we cover up y and we get 5x equals negative 15. So the x-intercept would be negative three. Let's go ahead and plug that. And then for the y-intercept, we do the opposite. We cover up the x, we get negative three y equals negative 15. So y equals five. And then we just connect a line through those intercepts. And we see here that their solution is right at the x-intercept. at x equals negative three and y equals zero. So you could go back and verify that that is the solution into both equations, but I will leave that out here since we already did that in example one. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how to solve by graphing. Graph the two lines, see where they intersect each other.